model and we are looking at what's inside. This is gonna be the anterior surface, or the anterior side, this is the posterior side. So that's towards the face, towards the back of the head. Um, what is the name of this bone? Temporal. Frontal. Frontal, that's right. right. I mean, these, these, these two guys. Took off the top of the head, frontal bone, right here. So, frontal bone is gonna be located here. Let me turn this a little bit more so you guys can see it on the other side of the room. We'll start with the easy ones. What's the name of this bone back here, back of the head? Occipital. 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 Um, which means that what's the name of this bone on the side of the head that borders the occipital bone? Temporal. Temporal. You can just see a little sliver of the parietal. I'm not even going to label him because he's such like a small sliver, you know. Um, this guy that looks like a bat. Right, it looks like a bat wing, um, or like bat hand, kind of, I don't know. That's your sphenoid bone. So the sphenoid bone occupies a pretty large part of the inside of the, inside of the skull. So this is sphenoid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, see this little rectangle right here that lies between the sphenoid and the frontal? This is actually part of the ethmoid. Mm -hmm. and, and those are the major uh, bones, all right? No. Let's talk about these parts of the bone. We'll start with the ethmoid. See how the ethmoid, if you have the skull in front of you, he has like a little sail that sticks up, a little protrusion, looks like a sail. That's called the crista gala. Crista gala, okay? And you see all these holes that are around the crista gala? That's called the crib reform plate. Cribriform plate is significant. You don't have to remember this for this exam. Just, I mean, it's good to put the, all this into context. On the other side of the ethmoid, through the, the cribriform plate, that's your nasal cavity. That's the pathway that your olfactory nerve takes on its way to the nose. So your olfactory nerve allows us to smell. Those little nerves need little holes to get into the brain so that we can process that information. So, do you guys see? how there's this little like saddle seat looking thing right in the middle of the sphenoid. That's called the sella tersica. All right, so I'm just gonna, this whole little region is called the sella tersica. I'm just gonna label them like that. Sella tersica. Now, um, we've got a bunch of holes in the sphenoid and, and this is what they are. See these two holes that are at the front of the sella tersica right here in the middle? That's just the other side of the optic canal. So that's where the optic canal emerges in the inside of the brain. That's where the optic nerve comes into, okay? So this is the optic canal. Remember the superior orbital fissure? He actually hangs out just underneath this protrusion of bone that kind of comes out. So that superior orbital fissure is like right underneath there. And you can kind of see that if you have the skull. He's like right underneath there. So that's the superior orbital fissure, abbreviated SOF. The inferior orbital fissure, he actually doesn't even go to the inside of the brain. He doesn't go to the inside of the skull. If you follow him, he just goes to the kind of internal loop of your uh, lower jaw, or like in, in your mouth. Basically, that's really bad you guys get it. Like if you were to follow the inferior orbital fissure, he doesn't go into the skull. He just goes down here. Okay, and then that allows the passage away from blood vessels and nerves to access that region. Okay, see how we have three holes? It goes boom, 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 as we extend down away from the optic canal. We go boom, boom, boom. Just remember R, O, S. Okay, like Ross. R stands for foramen rotundum. O stands for Foramen obeum. S stands for foramen spinosum. See this really large uh, foramen, this large hole that's at the base um, of the sphenoid, right beside the back of the cella tersica. Those two guys, 
Those two guys are the foramen lacerum. So really, all you got to remember, off the canals in the middle, R O 